Cybertron. The home world we Autobots have strived to protect from the Decepticons can no longer sustain us. I can only be certain of this. Just one transport remains. This is what you chose, Prime, when you defied me! All of this is your doing! The world is primitive, but rich with raw energy. You're weak, Optimus. You run when you should fight. Hey guys, it's Thomas here from Minimap Gaming. So, I pre-ordered Fall of Cybertron. It came out this Tuesday. I've been playing it all week. I've beaten the campaign, so now I want to bring you the review. First things first, I will not be doing any spoilers about the campaign. And in this video, you'll just watch me do a multiplayer match, because that's the only gameplay footage I could really get, because I was too addicted to film. Sorry about that. Team Expect more later, match. though. Eliminate the enemy so, team. First thing about this game is, it's really amazing. If you like War for Cybertron, you'll love this game. It's a great add-on to the storyline. You kind of need to play War for Cybertron to know what's going on. If you don't, you might just be a little lost, but not enough for you to hate the storyline. Some of the features that are in this game that are really neat, that I enjoyed, is, um... How each character kind of has their own unique ability is one. And another one I just still can't get over is that you can switch which hand your gun is in to use to your advantage in cover. That's just so neat to me. So, next, I would say the multiplayer. It had some issues first days out, but as far as I can tell, they fixed most of them in terms of joining lobbies and stuff like that for the PC. It's a great multiplayer, a lot of fun. Another thing is, is that, kind of a ripoff, but they released a multiplayer DLC right as, right when the game came out. One thing that gave you was more characters, but you can still play with those people that have the DLC, even if you don't, because I played with some people who I don't have that vehicle form unlocked, and I saw them driving with that vehicle form. Next, would be some of the bad things. I've run into a few glitches. One was my camera would break in campaign in one mission where um, Swoop kept helping Grimlock onto a ledge. Because Swoop can fly, Grimlock can't. And my camera would break a couple times when I did that. Another glitch was same level 2. Grimlock got rammed on this like, um, floating structure. I was supposed to fall to my death, but instead I just got stuck in midair. Couldn't get down. I eventually had to restart from last chapter. All that. In multiplayer, another thing, customization. Customization is great. You can pick how your character looks, it's vehicle mode, it's colors on what side, it's class, it's weapons, it's almost everything. So, going back to campaign, the storyline, it was amazing. It kept on with a great continuation. And it overall just kept me interested. I couldn't get enough of it. And then finally the ending came and it was a jaw-dropping cliffhanger ending. I could not believe it. And now I'm patient, or not so patiently, awaiting a third game. I will be buying that third game, you can guarantee that. And so... That's all I really have on a 1 to 10 rating. I'd give it a 9.5, unless they fix those glitches, then it's a flat out 10. I love this game. And for those of you who are wondering, 
It's nothing like the movies. But if you're a Transformers fan, you may hate or you may slightly enjoy. Like I kind of like them. They're pretty terrible for Transformers, but they're a good line representation. And then they make references to the. I might get the state wrong, but to the 1986 first Transformers movie that was animated. They make a ton of references to that, but you don't have to watch it, you just won't get the references. And as far as any of the cartoon storylines, it does not match with any of them. You might, I mean, it will make references, and if you ever watch it, you won't get it, but sometimes the game will tell you later on. The game has a lot of neat weapons you can definitely use for your fighting style. I used, um, automatic weapons, because I'm a terrible, I'm terrible at aiming, especially in third-person shooters. And your vehicle form, it's actually very useful, it'll get you around fast, you've got guns on it, you can fade, you can run. And so, another thing I'm thinking is that in multiplayer, can people just run away in their vehicle form? Yes, and no. It's like, they can, but since you have guns in your vehicle form, you can transform and chase them and keep shooting. And you can only shoot forward, so actually running away is a bad idea. Because they'll just shoot you from behind in their vehicle form. Now, that's, that's going to be all for my review today. If you guys have the money, or the time, or whatever you need, I highly suggest this game. It's a great game. I wouldn't say Game of the Year only because Halo 4 is coming out this year, so that will probably have Game of the Year. But other than that, I think it'll be a second for Game of the Year, and it definitely is in my book, and if Halo 4 isn't all it's lived up to be, it'll be a first. Thanks for watching. S subscribe for more. We are um, an announcement is that we are getting capture cards soon, so we'll soon start Xbox videos. I'm going to talk to Cam soon about doing more Let's Plays, and we might try doing some, or at least I might try doing some achievement guides, considering I only got half of the achievements on my first playthrough in Fall of Cybertron. It'll be a good way to start. So anyway, uh, oh, wait, sorry, my bad. One last announcement is that um, Cameron has gotten Guild Wars 2, and I'm going to try to convince him to make some videos out of it. I probably said that name wrong. I don't know. Karen was always talking about it. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. I love you. Team Deathmatch. Eliminate the enemy team.